Yo, what's up guys, it's Frosty, and I wanted to quickly bring you guys a video about my thoughts and opinions on the new Call of Duty that's going to be coming out in November. The, it was finally announced, it's officially now known as Black Ops Cold War. It comes out on the 13th of November of 2020, which is for two months away. So far, we know Zombies is returning, which personally, I don't really play Zombies, so I don't really care. I mean, BO3, I played a decent amount of Zombies, but other than that, I haven't really touch zombies just not my thing it is also being developed by two studios which i'm pretty sure the first time this has ever happened what i heard was just sledgehammer games because it was supposed to be sledgehammer's year because normally they go every three years it's a new cod from a different developer and then treyarch was supposed to be not this year but next year so apparently sledgehammer couldn't think of anything treyarch ditch bo4 because it you know honestly wasn't that good of a game. It was probably the worst Black Ops they've made. And then, so they ended up teaming with Raven, which are the people who made the remastered version of COD 4, which honestly, I enjoyed that because that's when I started like meeting a lot of the friends I have now. They all played in like the hide and seek stuff and I didn't really care about pubs and that. So I was like just doing like hide and seek and glitches, which I wasn't good at it, but I played, I enjoyed it. So I still did it and I met all my friends, like no game, a lot of people you wouldn't have seen in my any of my videos before actually, because none of them are ever in any of them other than Will. Will might've been in a few just playing like in the gameplays. But yeah, it was also announced too in the trailer, which if you guys haven't seen the trailer already, it is insane. The campaign is going to be so good. Uh, the multiplayer reveal, I think, is next month or sometime later in this month, which is September. So I've seen leak gameplay of that. Not too hyped for multiplayer. It's giving me real good BO4 vibes with Battlefield 1 in it, which doesn't really make sense, but you know that's just kind of the vibes I'm getting from it. I'll actually try and link the video if I can find it on Twitter because they've been striking it down a lot. So I'll have to go and spend like an hour digging through for that. Also, it was announced that the Battle Pass is returning. And with that, I'm wondering if it's going to be like MW where they have no prestiges and it's just the Battle Pass, which personally I hate because I just always love prestiging i'd normally play till i was master and then i end up playing on another account also if they don't do that and they end up bringing prestiges back and just have the battle pass it's like a side thing is it going to be like the older call of duties where you know it's 10 prestiges once you hit master at level 55 your master prestige that's it or are they going to bring back like the bo3 style where it's level 1000 which personally that's what i'd like to see because then after you get master because master doesn't really take that long to get to it takes like a few days maybe you still have a long time to be able to grind because level 1000 probably takes a few months to hit also from what i've heard the mini map is going to be going back to normal which i am so happy about so if a lot of people don't know mw didn't have the normal mini map mw had it set up so the only time you would see red dots on the mini map is if you had a uav or an advanced uav i'm pretty sure i don't know i didn't really play this that much i played gunfight and that's it and that doesn't have a mini map but the old mini map it used to be where if you shot you pop up on the mini map and you'd be able to tell where people are so it's reverting back to normal is going to prevent some more people from camping or if they are camping you'll know a lot quicker than you would in mw also i don't know if anyone's been like on twitter for like the past few days recently a lot of like there's been a lot of stuff happening with like competitive cod in the cod league so they decided to go from a 5v5 which they've been doing since bo4 and drop it down to a 4v4 which is what they used to do originally which is honestly what i prefer but they decide to not have any more expansion teams so all that extra player on each team which adds up to like 12 players which means they're going to be going from 60 total players down to 48 that means there's going to be 12 players who won't have a team and that kind of sucks because they're not doing any expansion teams which would have been nice if they were because then they would have had like 100 thieves or i'm trying to think uh cloud nine tsm all them they probably would have entered actually i don't know about tsm but like cloud nine probably would have from what i've heard they've been interested but yeah so they've done all that also sadly skill-based matchmaking is returning and it's not going to be like the old cods where it, it's there but it's you can still kind of pub stomp and not have to play sweats the entire time it's going to be like MWs where you gotta sweat your ass off the entire time. It's rare to find a good lobby, but it also means a lot of people are gonna be abusing reverse boosting and all that stuff. And if you're like good at the game, you're gonna be facing a lot of hackers and all that stuff just because, you know, it's gonna register them as a higher skill level than they actually are. So that's gonna be annoying. But yeah, also, I don't know if crossplay is returning. I kind of hope it is. I'm pretty sure it is. It's also gonna be kind of weird how they do it since it's gonna be cross-generation with the PS5 and stuff coming out. I know they did the pre-order bundle where it's 
if you pre-order it on PS4, if you pay an extra 10 bucks, you can have it for when the PS5 comes out, which is good because I'm going to be getting that. But yeah, also with crossplay returning, we're going to see a lot more PC hackers, probably like how we're already seeing in MW right now which is a big problem because I know they were not prepared for that. I mentioned that in my MW's opinions video before MW came out when they announced crossplay. I was like, hacking is going to be a major problem that we're all going to have to deal with. But yeah, that's my opinions on what I know about Cold War so far. The multiplayer reveal is actually tomorrow as I'm recording this or today when this video comes out. Hopefully it comes out before the multiplayer reveal. It might not. I don't know if I'm too hyped for it. I'm really hyped for the campaign because that's a be a one continuation which is gonna be sick but the multiplayer i don't know my thoughts on it it looked okay it might be playable might not be might have to find a different game but you never know hopefully it's good but yeah other than that don't forget to like comment subscribe and yeah see ya